Hello everyone, it's Natasha from Treasure Books. Okay, if you like this sort of thing, then this video is for you. So basically these are journaling spots. They have texture, they have sound, and they have a function in a journal. They get clipped in like this. We have writing space at the back. And we are using scraps, pieces of materials, fabrics, whatever you may have, laces, whatever you may have on hand. And we're making them into journaling spots. So we can clip them onto the pages. We can pop them into pockets. We can perhaps make them into pockets like that. Or we can pop them into belly bands like that. The best part about this, of course, is that we can be as creative as we want. We can do this fairly quickly. We don't need a lot, just some scraps and an image and just a little bit of free time. And what I love about this is, of course, that it's functional and it makes sense to be placed in a journal. I should probably also point out that for this project, you will need your sewing machine. I mean, by all means, it can be done with just glue. But for this one, I like the sewing machine because it adds extra texture. And we have these, you know, some threads sort of hanging around. And I really like that look. All right. So let me show you how to make some. OK, these are some of the things that you can use for this project. I'm using this brown paper that uh, came with some packaging. I have some of this gold fabric. I have a mesh type material like this that I cut off of something. Some type of a lace will could be good instead of the mesh material if you don't have it. Some, you know, fabric offcuts and, and paper scraps like this. Uh, parchment paper, if you don't have this brown stuff and you like a little bit of sound, you, you know, if you like them to have a little bit of sound then parchment paper will be good as well and then we also want some of this tea dyed paper or any type of paper that you want to back your journaling spots with and then of course we need images so all of these images are cutouts from books and magazines and things like that so anything that you can use as a focal point on your journaling spot will be perfect all right, now I'm literally going to plop these things together and make a journaling spot. So I will start off with this. It doesn't have to be perfect, of course. All right, the next thing that I want to do is I might play around with my fabrics a little bit. And I'm not going to overthink anything. I am just putting it down without any rhyme or reason. Not even cutting straight. Cut a bit of this one and Again, I'm not going to cut straight. It's better if it's... I want it messy. I don't want it perfect. Something like this. And now to choose an image. And that's it for this one. I'm going to do one more. And then we will come back and finish them off. Maybe I'll do this so you can see a little bit better. Use a bit of this one. A bit of this gold. So the idea is just to choose a couple of things. I mean, I have so many different fabrics and laces that I can use, but I don't want to overwhelm myself. Maybe I'll use some parchment paper too, or baking paper, and I'll put it over here. Maybe I'll have it sticking out a little bit like that. A little offcut here. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is take this to my sewing machine. I will show it on camera, speed it up, and I'm just going to sew around the images. So and then everything will be held in place. And then I will do all sorts of zigzag stitch, whatever I feel like. You can see on this one here, I did some zigzag stitching here. And then I did some straight stitching, zigzag. But the idea is to hold the pieces down. But before I do that, I just feel like I want to ink the edge on this one a little bit. Okay, so I'm using my Alna machine, universal needle, nothing special. And I'm just going to use a straight stitch and stitch around this first image. Some different color looking thread, like a darker thread would be really good for this, but I'm just going to go with white. I'm not worried too much to have perfect stitching around. If it goes off the image, I come back on. If some stitches are going to be all the way in here, some are going to be all the way around. The only thing I will take care about is the face. I'm not going to stitch over the face. So I'll do the same with this one and then I will show you what I do next. 
and now like I said I'm gonna go around and just sew randomly just to keep those little pieces stuck down I don't want them to sit up like this and I'll use a zigzag stitch for this one and if the fabrics are moving around and scrunching up that usually bothers me in a project but for this project it does not bother me at all because we're going for the messy scrunchy noisy look so texture and you know that I'm quite happy with that here they are so basically the image is down all the sewing around is done nothing is kind of coming up and this is what the back looks like so the reason why I want to cover the back of course is to make this a functional a journaling spot so you can write at the back and that's where this comes in so this is just some tea dyed coffee dyed paper actually this side here I like to use up you know things that I have so I actually coffee dyed some paper that's been used and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this on here and then rip around and sew around I'm not actually uh, spending much time doing the gluing I just want to glue somewhere there in the middle just so it's keeping it in place and now I will get some messy edges happening here. I'm going to sort of rip around. I don't want to have any of these words visible, so I'll take care of that. Maybe I'll use my ruler like this. And that's fine. You know, it doesn't bother me that I ripped too much at the back. And now this one maybe get rid of this straight edge over here here we go so now I'm just taking it to my sewing machine again and I'm just going to sew around and that's it just on the you know brown paper just to make sure that none of this is sort of coming up I changed the top thread into a darker color and I left the bottom one as white because we are not perfectionists here and if we are we are trying to change that and I'm just going to use a straight stitch, but I'm going to wiggle it around a little bit. I'll be moving my paper around so it's not so straight. And I'm going to use a zigzag stitch here. And back to straight stitch. I might do the zigzag here. And here we go. I'm just going to cut off the straight the threads there we go so there's still some threads hanging around which I like so now just to finish it all off I'm going to ink the edges to make it all kind of I don't know blend in a little bit better and I'll do over here as well oh this parchment paper is inking nicely maybe I'll do a little bit on the lace too just so it's not so white and here we go and let me tell you when you look at it like this you might think oh what is the point of this exercise when you take one individual thing and you're looking at it and you're like what it doesn't make much sense to spend time doing something like this and I feel like that about most of these little embellishment making projects however as I've said a million times before when you have a journal that's filled with goodies and you have all these different interest pages all these things that you can look at and explore and you know pull out and read and all these different things right pockets things in pockets stuff like that parchment paper love it you know and then you come across a page that has one of these it just makes sense see what I mean it just makes sense by the way now that we are here I see this tag that I've made these are real you know real real nature stuff that I've laminated and I have a tutorial on that I might link it down below because you know that's just another interest piece in this journal but I think it looks really fun I like it maybe even you know in a pocket like this too busy but I think you get the drift something like this it's just another piece and you know there's texture and there's sound and there's interest okay what's this man with all these dogs what's he up to you know and then you can write at the back about whatever you you know whatever you're writing about this is all about writing but in a creative way and having all of these different things in the journal helps the creative process so will you be making some just wanted to show you some of the other ones that i made here i've just got three different pieces of 
things underneath the image same here so you can just have you know two things look here two things and an image on top so it doesn't have to be anything elaborate this one here this is quite a thick upholstery fabric so this one feels really cushiony and I like that too this one same here I have that upholstery fabric underneath it's really cushiony put them put things together and sew them together and make these largish journaling spots so the ideas are absolutely endless and the sky's the limit with this sort of uh, craft which is what I love about it so let me know what you guys think about it will you be making some yourself if you have any questions please don't hesitate to ask thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye